So one of the things that I learned about in college, um, kind of accidentally, was a, a theology of geography. I went to King, I have a, a degree in Bible and religion, and I spent um, the first semester of my senior year in Baltimore working at, a, at an inner city habitat affiliate. And one of the things, um, among others, that I learned there was this idea of the church in a place. And one of the things that that I love about our church is that we're a neighborhood church. We're here. We have a building that that works, that um, that allows us to be neighbors to the people around us. One of the, some of the things that are that are going on at church right now are, are are very gratifying to me that we're reaching out to the community that we live in. You know, we work with we work with students over at Fairmount where my kids go to school. We have a number of families that live in this neighborhood. And someone wrote a history of First Pres um, that in the 1970s, um, and they used to give it to all the new members. And and I had to I, I went and found it after I found out about it. There's a copy in the library, the church library. Um, it's called a Long Communion, and it goes back to the the you know it it tells the you know the first hundred years of the of the church's history. The church was originally more in downtown Bristol, um, and in about 1950, um, the church decided you know, they had outgrown their space, um, but they decided to move here on purpose because they wanted to be in this neighborhood. And I, I believe that um, when we moved back here five, five, six years ago now, we decided that we wanted to be in this neighborhood, that we wanted to, to live where we go to church. We wanted to live where our kids go to school. We wanted to live near the people that we know. And we wanted to learn how to be neighbors. That that's something that, that we need to be mindful of um, as, a, as a church congregation is that this church is in this place for a reason. This is an amazing community around us. It's, it's mixed income, but there are people here that, that have great wealth and there are people here that need help. And I'm excited by the, the idea that, that we can reach out to both of those groups, um, that we can help those that need them, that, that need help, and that we can invite them to be part of our community. And this building will allow us to do that. And so I, I believe that it's really important that we stay here and that we take care of what we have and that, and that we figure out how to use it to reach out to the poor. Um, particularly in this neighborhood. We're doing that with the, the neighborhood outreach stuff that, that um, Peggy Hill and, and Wes Foster and, and some others have been working on. And then we're also doing it with the, the folks that, um, with, with Family Promise, um, where folks stay over. Um, and I would like us to, to, to do more of that. We, we did have for a while the, the Boys and Girls Club and, and there is a need for affordable childcare. We have a facility that can be used for that. Um, the scouts use this building. You look at the, the calendar and there are things that go on through this week. Um, Katie and Brad Arnold's ministry um, to the youth of this community reaches far beyond the kids that go to our church. And they need this space to do that. I, I dearly want us to recognize that we, we are a neighbor, that, that we're here for a reason, that we have a place to be, that God has called us to be, um, and, that, um, and that our responsibility is to figure out how to follow that calling um, in, in His service and to His glory. In the past few years, it, it actually happened before I came back here, um, that, that the church... Um, worked real hard and came up with a good plan to bring the, the heating and cooling of the church into the 21st century. Um, there was a large portion of the building that, that was not heated or cooled, um, and that was, a, that was a real problem for its use year-round. Um, and so I think it was a good choice to go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, there's some debt that needs to be retired. I think that we need to think about this building. Um, you know, the roof is, the roof is 50, 60 years old, and it's it's reaching the end of its life, and and there's going to be expense associated with that. And I think we need to recognize how important a building, and this building in particular, is to our ministry in this neighborhood.